So, uh, you know, I want to talk. I, I bought Ulti. But I bought it. Look, hold on. Let me show you. Okay, look. You see right here. I got some dividends. I got spat on by Fiat XDTE. I look at that. $2,500 a week. I love it. And if we open up like this, uh, this, you know, XDTE cap captures the overnight action. Okay, and my core number is five th five hundred thousand. It's what it is now because I wanted some ulti, and I'm up. Okay, in the overnight action from when we closed market, and I'm making this video on like Saturday night at midnight, but that six thousand dollars I could rip off the top. I I love this XDTE now. I'm giving ulti a chance to dirty girl. Look, all right, I bought it the other day. I, I don't want the dirty, filthy dividend. No, I don't want the dirty dividend. Look at the faces here. Look at the pumpkin. We now have changed his name to Jugs. I have a vendetta against Jugs. I'll tell you about it, okay? Jay's coming back. Jay. Anyway, so, Jay, I bought some ulti. I, I skipped the dividend. I did a double delight. You know what a double delight is? Well, your ex-dividend day was on a terrible, this was Friday. Your ex-dividend fell on a terrible, terrible day, giving me an opportunity to come in at $9.61. Um, the first time ever you buy Ulti, you're not negative right off the bat. Now, it was $10.60. I actually monitored the trades. I did a whole video on it with Shadow the AI. And so my plan is this. It holds a lot of good things. It holds NVIDIA. It holds Coinbase. It holds so much crypto-related stuff. I think, you know, after my meeting with Jay, my interview, okay, it capital appreciated a lot. They went from doing like four trades. The other day they did 85 trades. I showed it on my other channel. Let me see. Who knows? They probably try to take me down again. Look. I had to delete all my videos because I was under attack. Oh, oh, I, I'm going to make peace, everyone, with the condiment whisperer. The condiment whisperer, Hamburger. He sent me a very nice email, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make peace with him, okay? He's not going to point his fingers anymore, and he's going to talk. He's going to say my name three times in three videos, Oracle. Oracle this, Oracle that, in a nice way. And like Beetlejuice, I will forgive Hamburger, okay? So yeah, I'm on this channel, Oracle High Yield, I'm going to be doing the full rundown. Shadow went through 85 trades. I'll give you a little sample. Look, with humor and everything. Strategy, swing trading Tesla's Look. wild moves. Success, needed precision timing. Tesla's not known for chill price action. 30. Short sell, SS, sold. So she goes through gain. all Success. the trades. Needed Palantir to spy some upward momentum. And she's Oracle's funny count check. and spicy. All right, team, we're 36 trades deep with 49 more to go. I'll pause here for a quick breather and let you soak it all in. It's going to be great. Okay, so if you want, you can go find that channel. How do you find all my channels? Well, I got a new way. Just do Oracle. Check it out. <laughs> Talk about, I don't even need a, a, a Indian working for me. Put in an Oracle ETFs. Watch my SEO. Look, right there. Okay, first one. You scroll down a little bit. You find Oracle Income ETFs. Okay, you find all my channels. Don't worry. What if we give you the word Income ETFs? I bet you we get, look, we get dwarf, dwarf tossing. Okay, J, Oracle ETFs, all kinds of good stuff. So let's get back to where we were. So, look, if it could keep recovering, maybe I would like to have the dividend. I don't, let's talk about reverse splits. Reverse splits and tits. That's what we're going to talk about. Do I think they're going to reverse split it? No. Not after my last interview with Jay. Okay. Um, hold on, let me pull up my channel. Let's see. This interview with Jay, where we talked about reverse splits. And he, the singles, that's exactly it. Uh, I know, Jay. I know. Right? And it was a little controversial. He's coming back. 
this around early December. I said, look, you have my email address. You come back and we'll talk again. We had a nice conversation. I may take him out on the boat. <laughs> Blow his mind. Show him that we're in the same league. <laughs> anyway, so look. He's coming back, but let's talk about let's talk about the monkey, the elephant in the room. I don't think they are going to go ahead and reverse split Ulti anymore. They got it up to 1060, not because of the election. The price started running up after our interview. We made it very clear with how we felt. And the truth is, you don't have to reverse split. You know what the myth is? It's like when you're a kid and they, they tell you something, oh, don't touch this, whatever. Or they make you believe something that's not true, like, like the Easter Bunny, right? They used to tell us, oh, $5, you get delisted. Nobody will touch you. Well, we've shattered that myth, okay? First of all, the fund has been doing well. And I'm going to share some examples with you, okay? So I'm doing my experiment with Ulti, and I have notes in my Discord. So... I took screenshots. We were at $10.68 before the dividend. They paid out an 86 cent dividend or something like that. Anyway, and with the next red day, it went to 978. But I don't care. It needs to go back to the pre-dividend price. If I start to see this, I will hold ulti longer term because I like what it offers and what's in it. But let's talk about some other things. Okay, so I I might be out of this before you know it. Okay, this, I love this position. Core compounding and a big payment every week. And XDTE is my favorite out of all of them. The RDTEs and the Q, I won't touch the QDTE, just based on performance. Why else do I think it won't be or um, reverse split is because the whole community is so against it. And they say that you get delisted, okay, if you go below $5, okay? This one is temporarily halted because increased volatility. Nothing else. Four million tr shares traded on Friday. Four million shares. It's $2. I'll show you another one. You ready? Right here. Look at this. All right. Nope, that's not the one. Uh this one. Okay, this is trading. You can buy this on Robinhood. Okay? It's a dollar seventy eight. It's not reverse split. It's on the exchange. Now this one you can't margin. Okay, but the other one you can. Fifty two million shares have traded. It's a dollar seventy eight. So I think they don't have to reverse split ulti. I think that they're going to try to impress us. They heard the community. And I think they're going to make Ulti a winner. Now, I didn't even intend to make this video about this. Will you look at the tits on this kid? I I, I didn't just, you know, I, I wanted to talk about Ulti. I still have, there's other funds I want to talk about. There's a lot of things, but this popped up in my feet. Look at the tits on this kid. Key word for this video is jugs. Okay, this is the coach. He's been trying to get a successful YouTube channel for so long. He changed his name to just, I'm an idiot. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what he's going to talk about today. You know what he does? He, oh, this is the best part. Let me tell you about this whole YouTube genre that I love. Okay. Um, well, every Tuesday is Round Hill Day, but Wednesday, Wednesday they go crazy. You know they all try to be the first ones to show you the numbers. This is what happens every week, okay? First of all, all of a sudden, they come out of the dead, out of the woodwork. And they're like, oh, here, the first one is Steve-O. You've seen Steve-O, right? He's completely bald with the biggest, darkest, bushiest, he's Korean, eyebrows you ever seen in your life. It's like God said when he was, they were making Steve-O, right? Hey, Luigi. Where's those cotton balls that they fell in the ink? Put it, put it on this guy's face, and they put the, and he's got these Luigi eyebrows. He's the first one. He's always got to make sure, no matter where he is, he could be banging his wife. Well, they don't do that anymore, but he could be out in the rain or something, right? And he's got to make the video, right? Boom, first one. 
Then, then we got another one. Then another thing happens. Game day begins on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, they all come out. First one out of the gate. It's like he wakes up from the dead. Okay, usually it's targeted wealth. Okay, oh, this old guy, Bruce, uh, yeah, he's, he's very negative. Mark's going to crash. It's September. Uh, it might be December now. I don't know. Buy gold. I, I don't like these yield max funds, but I'm going to talk about them. Uh, and, he, and you can see he's got a picture of himself when he was younger and he dyed his hair. I don't even know if he died now, but every he's the next one. He'll come up with three videos. Boom, here's the numbers. Here's the numbers, right? So you get him. Then you get all the whole flurry of small or insignificant YouTubers. They post it. The comedians, they got to post it. Ah, he puts the drawers of line on it. It's crazy, right? So this happens every week, except for Jugs, a.k.a. formerly known as the Pumpkin. He's so late, okay, days late. Okay, it's it's Saturday as I make this video, right? Oh, my God, I wasted all this time. I don't even know what you heard or not, but it was hilarious. It was hilarious. You want pause, all right? I don't know what I was up to. I was talking about the orange sweaty pumpkin and why I don't like him because he attacked me, made fun of me. He came out and ambushed me behind a, a childish uh, live stream. And, and then I was talking about how the last email exchange I had with Jay, right? Uh, listen, Jay, I, I know you like Rod and everything, but I'm still going to make fun of him. He's our resident spreadsheet cross-dresser with the lift. But this guy, Jugs, that's his new name, okay? Let me show you. Look, look, at, look at the Jugs on him. Look, and you know what he's doing now? Like three days, always the last one to tell us, and here we are. The YMAX, YMAG, plus the Group C dividends that we got for Yield Max. So let's go. <laughs> Hold first. on. Everybody, put your hand down. We'll see you take Into the dividend. There, look at that. So I want to spray his shirt with water. I want you to tell me, everybody in the keyword, tell me what you think about his tits. I've never noticed like real breasts on a man before like this. And it's not the first time. He's been doing these bizarre videos showing his whole body. I don't know why. Again, this is what YouTube fair use and everything. He changed his name. It used to be THB, Tom Thumbs. Now he's living off dividends, but apparently he's not because he's at work. And then he makes a video about like like a fictitious $10,000 invested in this, invested in that, right? Did I ever tell you the time he tried to bankrupt you in crypto? Oh, it was hilarious. It's his very first video on the channel. It was called Safe Pal. And he had whiteboard up, and I can't with his tits. I can't. Look at this. Look right there. Close. If you're on your phone, go close. Let's see if he jiggles. That we got for Group C, which has already been paid yeah, yesterday. Yeah, bro, so. you're like way, way late. It's nice. We're kind of celebrating. It's like it? two pounds of below. That's like, that's a woman's breast right there. I mean, tell me, is that not a woman's breast? I, I came here to talk about ETFs. This popped up in my feet. I'm like, look at the tits on this kid now. Look at the tits on this kid. And so it, it really disrupted my whole flow. Oh, my God. I, I was talking again with the pause button. I was like, look, so Ulti don't have to reverse split. I've been pulling money out of this thing. I bought real things. They're buying chairs, folding chairs, 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 right? They're finding different ways to give the fund managers their money back every week when they get dividends. Me? <laughs> I'm a dividend slut just like you, okay? I've had the months where I had, like, I was looking at the menu. I was like, oh, dude, I want A, B, C. No, I don't choose that way. I, I choose what makes money. I dump what doesn't. I think AMZ is permanently hurt now. All right, I mean, it's it was $22, $23 two quarters ago. And now Amazon came all the way back up nice and slow and everything. And, and we're barely holding our balls together at $20. So I'm out on that one. And, you know, I don't do a back testing and looking at the charts. The data don't lie. Fuck, my money don't lie. Okay, I put my money in. I watch what happens to my money and my, my money don't lie. The data, my balls, whatever. All right, so look. You're all buying chairs, 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 right? Look at me. Look at me. 
with my, my Robin Hood, and then I take it off Robin Hood. That's what you do with your dividends. You buy real things. Then another day, look at me. Look at me. Look at that. Okay? Look. And you all are looking at this being like, how can I give the fund managers my money that they just gave me this week? What? I'm going to buy a group A, group B, group C, group D. I don't care. You don't know how to make money. I know how to make money just because you don't know how to make money. I don't know how to read these things. I'm not, I'm in the military. I do not know how to read enough financial things. I don't know if you say 1737 or 17.37, but I know how to order from the menu. And I'm going to tell everybody that how they're going to get rich. Dumb rednecks, lawnmower racers, plumbers, dishwashers. According to him, even people in jail. Even people in jail want to have pay weekly. So this is what we got. Kung Fu Betty. Me? I'm just chilling. I'm with Jay. Dave, whatever the fuck his name is. We don't even know his real name. The good round hill guy. Right? And so, uh, uh, all right, we'll break it down. Why don't I like QDTE? Let's take a look. All right, so let's look all time. You want to look all time? All right, all, all year max. Let's do max, okay? All right, it's paid out every week, blah, blah, blah. It lost $3.67 in NAV, okay? XDTE, you want to go to all time? Oh, do they have all time? Yeah. Let's go here. Let's go go five years max. Okay? We actually gained 87 cents. And they pay every week. I just got like $2,500 this week. So, if we look... Hold on. Come on. Slow. Don't be slow. So, I mean, this thing doesn't never road. Now... There's another one. I think that they took the same template and they put it over all of them. And RDTE, I didn't really like because... All right, here's the waves. All right, the first wave is all the excitement of the new people buying into the fund. So let, let me use my finger. All right, so it starts off at $42. Everybody gets pumped. They pump up the stock to 45 the ETF. And normal market conditions and everything else. And, well, it's forty three ninety nine with the biggest bull run we ever just had. Okay? Right now. But, we go back. Huh. So, this one, it's too new to tell. But it looks like it also gained money. Let me finger it again. Look, 42, initial pump. But it's more volatile. I just really like XDTE. Okay? I, I, I can't explain why. I watch. I can't explain. I go into details a lot. I'm done talking. Just the word is either jiggly tits or jugs. For the, the pumpkin is now. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't even say this. Maybe he's in transition. I don't know. All right, I'm out.